is Karen Wood from the University of Maryland Extension, Garrett County 4-H, and today I'm going to show you how to build a snow sleigh zip line to have fun with this winter. To build our snow sleigh, we will be using a few items that are easy to find this time of year. I am using green cardstock paper, some pipe cleaners, scissors, fishing line, a straw, candy canes, real or plastic, a zip line rider, and a hole punch. So let's begin by tracing out a sleigh using a stencil that is about 5 by 7 inches in measurement. Then you will cut it out, fold it in half, and trim the edges so they are even. Next, we will fold up the sides of the sleigh to show a square base on the bottom. Take a straw and cut two pieces the width of your sleigh. Now fold the sleigh together and make a hole punch on each end of the sleigh. Take your pipe cleaners and feed them through the straw pieces to allow for a spacer between your sleigh sides and also acting as handlebars. Then just twist the pipe cleaners above the sleigh as hangers and do this for both sides. Now we will need to add hooks to the top of our sleigh for the zip line. I am using ornament hooks as the trolley system. I will wrap the pipe cleaners around the hook to secure it tightly and make sure the hooks are turned in the same direction so it can freely glide down the zip line. And we'll do this for both sides. Now we will add the runners to the sleigh. Runners allow for smooth travel on ice and snow. I will be using candy canes as our runners. So we will take some glue dots and stick them on the surface and peel them back. I will add each runner with the curls facing up on the shorter end of the sleigh. Attach them far enough apart so the sleigh will stand up evenly. Now we'll add our rider. I'm adding some glue to their feet so they don't fall out. You may need to make some adjustments to your rider so the weight is dispersed evenly in the sleigh. Some things to keep in mind. Force, friction, motion, and gravity. The material you use for your zip line could increase friction between the sleigh and the line, slowing it down. By using fishing line, this allows for smooth travel. Make sure the slope of the zip line is steep enough. For example, if you begin at four feet, you will need at least two feet of descent. The steeper the line, the faster the speed. Finally, give your zip line plenty of space and perhaps try this outside with permission from an adult. The longer your line, the more time you will achieve maximum speed. Good luck and have fun.